A gravitational field is a region around one mass which affects other nearby masses. It is very weak however which is why the effect is only significant on large objects like the Earth. We can represent the Earth's gravitational field by drawing field lines showing the direction of the gravitational force on masses in the field. In this case the field is radial and equally spread around the Earth. On the surface of the Earth, the gravitational field is approximately uniform because the field lines are virtually pointing in the same direction and are equally spaced. This is why we assume the acceleration due to gravity is a constant of 9.81 meters per second squared, because the change at small vertical heights is negligible. Newton's law of gravitation states that all masses attract each other with a force that is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the centres of mass. This gives us the equation F equals minus gmm over r squared, where g is the universal gravitational constant of 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, m is the mass of the larger body, m is the mass of the smaller body, and r is the distance between the centres of mass of the two bodies. The minus sign simply refers to the fact that the force is attractive. For example, two bodies, one of mass 6 kg and the other of mass 20 kg, are placed 50 cm apart. From this we can work out that the gravitational force acting on each object is 3.20 times 10 to the minus 8 newtons. The force acting on each body is equal because they are attracted to each other. The gravitational field strength is the force per unit mass at a point in a gravitational field. For a uniform field, the equation is G equals F over M, where F is the force experienced by the body and M is the mass of the body. For a radial field, the gravitational field strength obeys an inverse square law. The equation for it is g equals gm over r squared. You can see how the gravitational field strength would decrease the further you are from the centre of the body producing the field. This formula can be used to work out the masses of celestial bodies. For example, given that the gravitational field strength on the Earth's surface is 9.81 newtons per kilogram, and the radius of the Earth is 6,400 kilometers, we can work out the mass of the Earth to be 6.02 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. When considering planetary motion, the gravitational force acting on the body orbiting is equal to the centripetal force because the force acts perpendicular to the direction of motion. By equating the two formulas and using the formula for the speed of an object in circular motion, we get the equation t squared equals 4 pi squared over gm r cubed, where t is the orbital period in seconds, and r is the distance between the centres of mass of the orbiting body and the body being orbited. This equation shows Kepler's third law which states that t squared is directly proportional to r cubed. This also suggests that for a set of celestial bodies, e.g. the planets of our solar system, orbiting the same large body, e.g. the Sun, t squared over r cubed is a constant and is equal for all the celestial bodies. For example, given that it takes 365 days for the Earth to orbit the Sun, and that the distance of the Earth from the centre of the Sun is 1.5 times 10 to the 11 metres, we can work out the mass of the Sun to be about 2 times 10 to the 30 kilograms. Given that the orbital period of Mars is 687 Earth days, we can use the Earth's orbital characteristics to work out how far Mars is from the Sun, as being 2.29 times 10 to the 11 metres. A geostationary orbit is an orbit around the Earth whose orbital period is 24 hours. They are located above the equator and are always vertically above the same point on the surface of the Earth. This makes them useful for TV satellites because the dishes can be pointed to a fixed point in the sky, which is quite convenient I'd say. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked the video and if you want to see some more you can subscribe.